Okay, so we're gonna have to go to Facebook to create uh, a Facebook app on Facebook developer section and once we create it there we're gonna get it, the details we want to get all right so I'm gonna go to uh, developers uh, facebook.com and hit enter make sure that you're connected to the internet at the time of uh, doing this so once it opens up we're gonna see as long as you're logged into Facebook on your system um, you're gonna see this so I'm gonna come here and add new app all right so uh, we're gonna give it an app name so I'm gonna call it Laravel uh, socialite so my system is hanging a little socialite laravel all right so uh, then the contact name yes that's my normal email create app id for some of you don't want to contact me that's my email so we have q t d uh, it's asking me to enter this capture and i just hope i got it right uh, click submit i hope i got it right and um of course all right so it's gonna open a new page for us where we can get our app id and uh, app secret remember what we're just trying to retrieve is um what what we're gonna paste here and here right so we're back so click on settings Now we can copy the app ID. I've copied uh, the app ID. Then I'll get back to my code and paste it as client ID. So I'll change it to Facebook. So now I've pasted it, pasted it as client ID. I will get back and look for app secret. When I click on show, it's going to ask me for my password, my Facebook password, and it's going to show me the client secret. So. So that's it asking me for my Facebook password. I click on submit and um, there we are, my app secret. All right, so I'll click copy and then I can get back to this place and paste it as app secret. All right, so um, I'll change it to Facebook. Okay. So I've pasted, pasted the app secret too. And then the next thing is asking us the domain. So in the app domains, I'll enter localhost. Hit enter. Now we're done. The next thing we're going to add a platform, and we're going to add a website platform. So when you click on the web, um, we're going to tell it the web that will access this. So I'm going to say it's localhost colon eight thousand. You know the reason I know this because. Um, when you look at our server, our server is running where at um, localhost. This 127.0.0 is localhost colon 8000. So that's basically what I'm telling you that the site that will access this is localhost colon 8000, which means when you host your website, you have to come here and add another platform, which is the URL of your domain. Let's say your domain is the partner.com. You understand when you host this app that we're designing, you will have to come back here and um, add the domain. All right. So I'm going to click save changes. And our changes are saved all right so we're good next thing we have to do is to go and check out whether what we did worked so we're going to go to this URL that we have in our web um, in our in our routes file we created a URL that we called login slash Facebook so we're gonna check it out and see whether it works uh, slash login slash Facebook I'll hit enter Anyway, we're already logged in, so I'm going to have to log out first. It's opening. Do, 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 do. So my owner has opened and uh, thrown this error. So uh, we're going to try and resolve this quickly. Yes, of course, because if we come here in our um, config services where we did this, uh, we made a mistake. I don't know what I was thinking when I was doing this because we're supposed to remove this guy like this and remove this EMB file because it was just making reference to a variable in an EMB file so we can configure it here directly or we can go to EMB and configure it here, uh, configure it so uh, we're good like this if we come back here we can refresh oops not uh, exactly refreshing we're gonna do localhost so just to open our server that is running it's 8000 slash login slash Facebook all right so we hit enter 
and uh, guess what it's ask it's saying that we're logged in but it can can't load url the domain of this url isn't included in the app's domains all right to be able to load the url add all the main subdomains to app so basically what it's saying is that um it's not able to see the domain we added here we added this domain here this is to be local for 8000 so we had that error because we've not listed our app domain in uh this other file so we're just gonna copy and um we're gonna come to come down to this place where you have facebook login click on it and then you're gonna have to add it to somewhere else so this is the place uh, you will have to add it so in valid auth redirect url so you add your local host remember that when you host your application to your domain name you have to replace all these local hosts with your domain name so after adding it you come to the bottom here and save once you save we can now uh, visit the url we wanted to visit before we can do a log local host local host um, colon 8080 because that's what our Laravel server is running on colon 8080 slash login slash Facebook if we do this we're gonna see guess what it works so we are asked to log into Laravel Socialite we'll receive your public profile and if we click continue we're gonna have a little problem because yep uh, that's that's just one then the other one is that we have to actually return something from the controller here we need to return user all right and um, that's it so i'll see you in the next video where we'll continue with the fixing of um, all this